Carry on. Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52, first round match between, oh we started with a get the ref, between Arzawain and his necromantic team, and Diomed and his Skaven team. Alright, let's go Skaven, never thought I'd say that. Um, in the booth with me is Squirrel Dude. hello! Hello, couple of really fast teams here today. I'm gonna keep stating the obvious, well, just to continue on that theme. Skaven have less armor, but... Even more expensive linemen than the Necro team who might want to foul. Mm. Helping you out there, Jim, my global expertise. Thanks. <laughs> uh, interesting setup here from Arzawain, who has not protected the middle or the sidelines in any way, shape, or form, or protected any players. So he has allowed his claw pomming wolf to get claw pommed on the first turn instantly. Um, some people might say that's shit and wrong, but. Um, no, I call it a trap it. hit. So yeah, maybe it's a trap. Armor, so it was correct. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it was because a trap, trap space. Yeah, um, because now all of a sudden he's giving up a big foul, and and there's going to be a bunch <laughs> of hits. But then he is also getting to foul this werewolf as well. Uh, and obviously, bulk it. It's funny. This funny racial matchup. Loads of everyone who plays Skaven tells me that it's a terrible matchup for Necromantic. Uh, like, you know, hmm. the necro Necromantic is a troll matchup for them. But, uh, uh, because, you know, the Wolves can just hunt down gutter runners, yes. basically. Uh, but, I don't know if the stats bear it out or whatever. But, yeah, the, the, the Skaven coaches that I know really hate facing Necro. That makes sense. They're the cheap linemen that can soak up hits on your fast linemen and bog them down. They have... Stand from guys who are annoying for your juggernaut guys. They have enough guards. It's all mobile. Mm. Well, there's a the some cars. Yep. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. Yep. Brilliant, brilliant strats from uh, Azawin. Knew that was going to happen. <laughs> yep. And here is the big foul. Could have had one more assist. And. If he had, he would have rolled a six on injury. <laughs> so it didn't matter at all, but it could have done. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, that, that Stormer is just going to get felled out now, probably. Like, it's just going to get felled every turn, unless it, you make a concerted effort to save it. Yeah, which so. is, that's exactly what he's doing. Chaining, chaining things away. To protect his storm vermin. For five million levels, but not block. It was level three. He might have block. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Oh my god, it's it's a pretty cool rogue as well, isn't it? It is rogue for Dimmy. Mm -hmm. Dimmy, he's got claw, palm, juggernaut, and brick tackle. Lovely. I believe one of the blitzes is Jimmy. It's not the good one. Mm. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a line. Well, I mean, the other one's other storm is dead, so. Oh yeah, Jimmy's the one who's dead. There it is. Yeah, yeah. Yep. There you go. Instantly, instantly cast. No one should ever name their players after me, just quietly. <laughs> it's guaranteed, guaranteed death. Uh, this is brilliant. Only he's got a natty here on the bench. Didn't really notice yep. this at first. There is a natty on the bench. Lovely. Um, Not even playing out on offense. That is. Oh, Skaven. It's an yeah. Addy with guard too, which is incredible. But man, Skaven or something else. Yeah, yeah, we'll just we'll just not feel two hundred team value on offensive drives or defense <laughs> or really except for one turn. Yeah, but I mean that's it, isn't it? It's touchdowns that win matches, so <laughs> he gives the biggest effect on one single touchdown, doesn't he? Super interesting. Um But yeah, if if he'd gone two heads and kept his option open, obviously he would have been he'd have been a lot better as a as a natty, but what can you do? Yeah. Guard is good. Don't blame somebody taking guard first. Mm -hmm. The biggest buff is Skaven. The new little side is they actually will want to play all four of their scudder runners. They're first players all the time. So they won't have to hide one for their one turn. Yes, yes, they can just give them all sidestep and stuff and then uh, and then use their roger to get the pushes guaranteed. Yeah. And uh, pretty, pretty strong. Why not start well? Because scoring in one turn is terrible, basically. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> apart from, <clears throat> apart from when you've only got one turn to score, that's the thing. And so, like that's that's the thing, right? If someone scores on turn eight of a drive and you've only got one turn left, 
then scoring on turn is incredible. Also, uh, if you score immediately in one turn, you don't necessarily get to claw palm their werewolf and then sell yeah. it. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty good. Yep. I mean, obviously, if, if he doesn't stall out the half, then the one turn would have probably been better than whatever he does. So, like, it, it's 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 not... It's not that bad to score one turn at the end of the day, but then also you might fail the dice rolls. So there is that aspect of it as well, right? And the failure state is pretty bad if you go for the one turn and fail like the dice rolls. And you know, you just fall over near the end zone and you know, it's just a disaster, right? Like your drive's gone. Like the half's mm -hmm. gone for you if, if you fail one turn. But I mean, I had a natty uh, wood elf and I would often score on turn one just because it was brainless and easy to do. So I do understand people doing it, but... And and it's not that bad. Like it really actually. So it's, yeah, as much as saying it's terrible, it's really not that bad. But I never had a natural one turner, so I have I have not done it. But I can say that uh, Hancock is a lovely fellow. Fellow uh, naming pieces of clothing after you, Jim. Yes, well, of course, and it's because he destroys it, isn't it? That's that's the idea, I guess. <laughs> and hello, dirty rock. So the inducements were a babe for Diomed. They both got a bribe from Get the Ref, and they both used their bribe already. So yeah, very close TV. Um, most of it coming in the one turner for the. Uh, uh, maybe maybe. <laughs> maybe hopefully nobody's named the soft one turner. Um, yes. Oh, there we go. The ro Dimmy's out. <laughs> in the one turner, <laughs> it's where most of the TV is located, isn't it? Is in this one turner. Yeah. Um, whereas the Necromantics got a lot on the claw pommer there. They've got a mighty little tackle, which is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Pretty decent team all round, really. Two really nice uh, whites as well. Really good whites. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Guru. <laughs> Brilliant. I thought you would made it Tom Brady, but one turner seems fine as well. I'm sure it's called Tom. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny there was a, <laughs> you know, uh, there was a line in uh, in Hogwarts Legacy about uh, taking responsibility, <laughs> and I said it's because <laughs> the professor's name for his penis is responsibility. <laughs> 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 Which I found pretty hilarious. I can tell, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I do tend to find my own my own witticisms hilarious, which is why mm -hmm. I come up with them. But uh, there's it, just it lots of there was just lots of uses for it, isn't it? That you could that you could say about like it's time for you to take responsibility, <laughs> things like that. <laughs> I thought it'd be quite amusing. I'm sure that'll have a lot of five idiots. Yep. Yep. Um, it's n it wasn't. No, it might have been. It might have been Skuro, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was, actually, yeah. Oh, dear. Well, I guess it's clearly a game that is happening on the internet, in places where it could be watched. But I have not done that, and I think I'll be fine. Hmm. But then I haven't watched anything based on Star Wars in, like, years. So, maybe I'm weird. For <laughs> that reason on top of the other ones. But... <laughs> on top of all of the other ones. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, this is, this is the thing with Skaven. Like, I guess Skaven do just, like, kind of generally struggle on offense a bit anyway. Yeah. So, so like... The fact that Necro are a bit weak, like that they're a bit weak compared to Bash teams, aren't they? They've only got two strength four. Mm -hmm. They've only got four natural guard access, but that's still enough to outmuscle uh, Skaven generally. So then, then you've just got like a normal Bash team still out bashing them, except they've got wolves on top. So I guess that's why. Yeah, especially when your big Rat Ogre that's there to break up all the stand firm out of your way isn't on the field anymore. Yeah. yeah. When you've moved on to Cumsocks, you know you've got a shitty skating game. I mean, we did discuss selling poop for like an entire game the other day, so... The bar's set pretty low for this. Just give this surf up here, just randomly. 
It's surprising that he thought that was worth it because I'm I'm still surfing this guy. It's GF5, right? No, it's, I don't know. You can just do it with the. Uh, I guess he's not surfing it. Not so. Wow, that's interesting. I would have definitely not hung him out for the free surf, and I would have definitely taken the free surf. Interesting. And goes for the that ball is... sack instead. Oh, maybe it was to distract him from the ball sack. So that what was it. A... Yeah. So may maybe Diamond thought I'll distract him from the ball sack by giving him a surf, and then and then Arzawain's like, why is he giving me a surf? And then he worked out it was to distract to the ball sack maybe, because that was not no, a bad a... shot, was it? It was a four up with a reroll. It's not. It was safe enough that you could do it and have recovery and not be totally out of position. I suppose though you are a little out of position from it. Yeah, this this gaping fucking hole, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that might be an so, issue. I would have felt yeah. a lot safer with like this this fucking stand firm stood here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It might be, yes, yeah, it might be. But yeah, like th this stand firm had to come in here, didn't it? Like, that was... Yeah. Here's the blitz, rescue the uh rescue the guy who maybe should have been served. <laughs> Just stand there and beg for the surf again. Hmm. There was a cool player here, look. Um, I don't know if he could have taken advantage of it or actually done it, but could have chained, could have filled in this spot, chained this guy to here, filled in these two, chained him to there, hit him and then hit the ball. But I'm not sure he has anybody left after he does all that. So probably, yeah, he doesn't. He could have probably filled in all these first uh, with, a, mm. you know, got him up to fill that. Moved him up to fill that, moved him into Philly. So he could have filled in all of these to get him to there. But the problem is, if, after you do that, you've got nothing left anyway. So. Yeah. But. It was so nice to see. You would establish dominance that you are, in fact, the better at finding chain pushes and seeing them. And mm. that would intimidate the opponent for the rest of the game. So there's some value in. Just giving up a turn like that. <laughs> well, you know, like, if he'd, ha <laughs> if he'd had, like, one more player here, it would have been a sick turn, right? Because then you get to hit the ball afterwards. Like, like if this yeah. guy had been here, it would have been an amazing play. But, yeah, you've, you've got to look for those kind of things, I think, you know, when, when there's, like, these kind of loose screens and you've got somebody nearby. Can you chain them into, into it? And oftentimes you can. Mm-hmm. Not just to it's say also... you've got a bigger brain than your opponent. <laughs> I mean, that is pretty important. I mean, why else would you play Plupple other than to show that you're better than someone? It's not like you're doing it for fun, God knows. <laughs> oh, no way. I mean, if you're playing Blood Bowl for fun, you've got you've got big problems. <laughs> you're even weirder than me. Yeah, yeah. Like, how fucking weird would you be <laughs> to play Blood Bowl for fun when there's, like, so many other games and, like, drugs and stuff? <laughs> not that I'm advocating illegal drugs, but really... On the topic of uh, beating rats, though, I do find myself kind of biased against going for random two dices on uh, good runners, even though it only requires one player, just because I'm like, it's blodge, it's not gonna, never gonna work, even though, you know, it works 30% of the time, it's actually pretty good. Mm. Pretty risk-free, 30% chance to get the ball loose. Yeah. Man, I love drinking, it's like, it's so much fun, it's... <laughs> I kind of regret. I kind of like every time I drink. I'm like, oh, I remember when I used to drink. It was fun, but it's not very. Uh, it's not very productive, is it? Every time I do this thing, I remember how I used to do it and how I wish I did it as I continue to do this thing. Got it. Makes sense, Jim. Mmm. Thanks. I don't drink anymore, really. But you know, I except just do. Times it. you do. I just do. Yeah. Apart from the times I do, exactly. exactly. I don't smoke except when I drink. Yeah, yeah, yes. That's, that's that was quite normal back in the day, wasn't it? Before they outlawed the smoking. Thank God they did. It, God, it's so bad how the fucking how you know things were full of smoke. Oh my God, I hated that. I'm very happy that it's not like that. Yeah. Anymore. Back when, even the idea of no smoking sections was nice. Hmm. But yeah, I'm, I am too young to remember when everyone smoked everywhere. Yeah, yeah, there'd be a lot of people like that. Lucky bastards. Oof! Gets the 2D on the ball. I was going to say he'll sidestep in, but he doesn't get the sidestep in because it's a, there's a both down rolled. Uh, surprisingly fortunate uh, 1 and 9 there. Yeah. 
Though I guess it was really, it had to be two pushes or a push and a dodge, because you're always taking the one and nine, you're always taking both down there, because you're not taking the power. So. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, so it was about, it was always going to be about 30% of not pushing in, and then about 30% of the power in, so. Yeah. There was an ish chance, probably about 50 50, that it, it wouldn't have forced him in. Yeah. Um, it's so a bit more than that, go. actually, I think. But yeah. I've got no I've got no idea. Well it's probably fifty five because it's kind of one of the other, isn't it? It's probably fifty five. It has to be um it's no, it's seventy five percent chance to not push him in. Because yeah, because half the results are pushes and half the results are pushes in that situation and you have to not get one of those both it's 50, times. It's fifty five, isn't it? It's fifty five for sure. Because it's two results you're looking for. So it's fifty five, right? It's just punching him. I I guess, a, I guess if you dub school, you also don't push him in. That's not a good result. No, so it's not, it's, no it could be less than 55, because you'll take the power instead of the boat down. Yeah. So, so it's probably, it probably is about 50-50. But whatever it is, it doesn't matter, because he rolled the boat down and didn't force him in. Um, and he just rolled a 3+. Plus. And then he right. just rolled a 3. Yeah, it only, it only forced a 3+. plus. But still, hey, right, it forces a 1 in 9, yeah. so it did something. Uh, but yeah, he stalls out the half, gets 1-0 up, and now... This, yeah, Necro are a funny one, aren't they? Again, they don't have a great chance at a one turn. But I don't like this setup because what I like to do with my Necromantic... Oh, I always get a riot like a lucky motherfucker. Um, what I like to do with my Necromantic the is... The for a riot, by the way. Yeah, yeah, is to do do like, do like the block first, right? You can set up mm -hmm. one of the wolves here, and then you can push twice into a hole. And then if, if yeah. you get that, then you can push the other wolf forward, and he can blitz himself through, Like, and then, then the one turn's amazing. So I feel like yeah. you should try and keep the blitz dry if you can um, as Necro, especially with this wide setup as well. Made it super nice to start off with uh, the other wolf pushing. Oh, Rick. He came in like a reckless Rick. Kills him. And gets him. Huge swing. Gotta start fouling now. But yeah, this could be not GG, but a very strong chance of the 2 2 here, isn't there? A Desmond. I mean, 1 1 here, but like 2 2 overall, right? Because <laughs> at the moment it's looking like it could be. Once Diamond stalls the half out, you know, it's really hard for Azoin, isn't it? Because if he makes it 1 1, then Diamond probably just scores a 1 turn. <laughs> yeah. But now getting this so, 2 turn. Yeah, getting the 2 turns is incredible, because now it's going to be overtime at best. For That's a GFI that needed to happen, I'm sure. And it, yeah. <sighs> what? Yeah, that, maybe it's a misclick. Maybe it was just a mi literally a misclick. Because I don't like doing that before picking up the ball. <laughs> or do, I would rather do the relay to the ghoul either before that GFI. Like I don't, don't understand. Well, I guess he was gonna get him out to screen it and all, but yeah, it doesn't matter because this is the one you want to get the ball to anyway. So maybe this one should have been over there, and this one should have been over there, and then so maybe he messed and real maybe he realized he messed up and he hadn't protected this guy properly. I kind of would like to have done the blitz before. I get this cage. Okay, so we're blitzing with the rover. I need to know the rover result here. I do this. I get it, it's not safe, but you have to know the result of this. Mm -hmm. if he, uh, if he doesn't. If he doesn't move. Like you have to base more up to try and stop the score than just the screen. So yeah, yeah, it. maybe. Yeah, yeah. Go around and stuff. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Cause he's got Juggernaut as well, so it isn't even that risky, is it? So, yeah. yeah, the pushes are. It's it's the activations. The one in six chance of oh, the whole turn falls apart. Yeah. Um, so the relay is now hard because it's harder for no reason. Yep. Uh, Dwyver, my my university grid was getting kicked off the course because I did literally no work, um, and there was a. Like, I actually passed all of the exams despite doing literally no work, but there was a coursework requirement, which I did not do. Because <laughs> I just didn't work from school. I have not worked from, like, I think about, you know, about being 13, maybe. Um, I just did nothing. Like, literally. <laughs> when pe it was always funny when people say, like, they did nothing at school, but, like, I literally did nothing. 
um, and not in the figurative way now what people mean. I mean literally nothing. So yeah, like yeah, literally just like literally did not put pen to paper and stuff. Did really you decide to here? Really terrible. There you go, Captain Blood. Uh, it fails. It was, had a decent chance there. Well, oh, he had he had to get a pow because of diving tackle. He went through the diving tackle side step, and then the diving tackle side step did a good job to force him to do a dodge through tackle yeah. as well. But maybe you need a knob to the werewolf there, so they can't do that. But I don't know. Maybe the five chances of power better. I'm not sure. Because mm. hmm. Oof, two two three pluses failed. But yes, it was a four, but there was DVT on it, was there? So we needed a six. Or not? I'm not. I'm not sure that bullets was quite correct. Maybe I really do wonder if you have to do that with someone. I guess it's a three D, but I don't know. I was, I'll be honest with you. I was. I was looking for the playoff brackets. I didn't see it at all. But never mind. I'm sure it was perfect. <laughs> uh, well oh, done sure. to both coaches. Brilliant play. Um, Blood Bowl playoffs are the pi pinnacle of Blood Bowl play, and therefore everyone involved is fantastic. Did that sound Got sincere? Uh, uh, yes, it did sound sincere. <laughs> Good. I was berated on my latest YouTube video for saying that I was too mean to my, uh, to, well, not to my opponent, to the people playing. Maybe I was, but I just did not like the way he played. I thought it was. But you know, again, it's not even. It's maybe it's not even that bad. I just don't like it. I just don't like the you know jump in for the uphills every single turn. You know, like I just hate it. I just hate that style. Uh, but obviously, sometimes it may it may be optimal. Who knows? Still, let's say uh, to, to this game that was a huge result though for Diamond that he basically got. He gets a, a one into the second half, which seemed pretty unlikely because Necro. You like they should have scored there. Yeah. You like that should have been pretty nice score. Yes, yeah, I do feel like they should have got that, that put that in. To be honest, that, that GFI really, really cost them probably. And I think, yeah, he should, he should have played it. You know, better than what. Fouling a lion rat to start to turn nine. Okay. Wow. Well, I guess things are desperate, right? Like things are desperate, and you've got the bench and. You haven't used this bench, and so you should have been fouling before now. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe you know, and like he's got to get the numbers down. He's got like every player off the field increases the f failure, like the failure chance of the one turn. Like you know, it's you might get has to, to try and get a chance at the natty. Has to be able to put pressure on them, and having no players on the yellows that can pressure you is good because you are so favored to score here. That you can't afford to almost just hunt rats. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You like you can almost not think about the ball. Like obviously you have to put the bare minimum there to 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 stop him stopping the score and getting it and everything. But you can almost ignore the ball. Yeah. And it's yeah. just how do I hit the, the ghoul? Could, it almost justified the ghoul just running backwards at that turn, <laughs> just not being near the other team. I don't think I could drive it because I'm I'm desperately depressed. <laughs> so it's not so good. Imagine imagine having all of the advantages you could possibly have. You could be literally everything, and what have you anything? And what have you done with it? Absolutely nothing. It's pretty depressing to be honest. So there you go. <laughs> I wish I'd had any ambition to do anything, but I didn't. <laughs> so here I am. Casting a little children's game Defending that I have obsessed about since I was ten. Fantastic. Midlife crises are fun, huh? I can't it's wait not, for mine. It's not a midlife crisis. It's like it's just literally been my, an entire life crisis. I've thought the same thing for like well since I was thirteen. <laughs> it's nothing new. <laughs> it really is nothing new for me. <laughs> A life mid crisis, yeah, exactly, exactly. That's pretty good, Jackal. Yeah, I'm having a life mid crisis. The, the problem is, I've been like happy with being mid. I guess maybe you know, if I hadn't been happy with being mid, I should have, uh, I could have, I could have been a contender. But instead, 
I was just like, oh, this is super easy, barely an inconvenience. And uh, I just stayed like that. Which is fine at the time. Like, individual days have been fine. It's just that, you know, at the end of the week or month or year or decade, it's like, Jesus Christ, what, what the fuck happened? <laughs> How am I 42? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but the individual days have been fine. I don't have anything I can add to that that would be productive. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> Also, I have enough respect for actual uh, psychiatrists and therapists to know that not something I should be uh, stepping into. Because I have no knowledge of those things. Mm. I mean, I did take Psych 101 in college, but, you know, so I guess I'm an expert, but... Yeah. I'd like to say anyone who looks up WebMD for the medical advice, I suppose. <laughs> um... Hello, Rosie. This is, yep, yeah, cheating rats versus actual cheat indeed, ours away. And for anybody who doesn't know, um, <laughs> uh, yes, was an admin in PS4 and was involved in a group of coaches who deliberately avoided each other to increase their, well, maybe not originally, but ended up doing it to increase their chances of qualifying and winning real life money. So. Well, thanks, Ali Yeti. Yeah, I, like I did do it thinking I could help people, you know, and like because as I've said multiple times when I, when I just looked on Blood Bowl two, everybody was terrible streaming the game. I thought, wow, these guys are all terrible at Blood Bowl. I should stream it and help all these people. Like there were loads of people looking for advice, you know, and all of the advice was shit. And all the play was shit. And I thought, well, I can help people. Is, is literally why I did it. So, you know, and then it's since then, it's just devolved into talking about selling your poop for $200. Or naming cum socks. Fucking Jimmy Fantastic. But, um, I mean, that sounds like the average Twitch experience, to be honest. Well, exactly. That's the thing. You see, that's the thing. I saw all these shows that were all like just shit shows like this. And I thought, well, I'll help people. And then, yep, and my, mine's gone exactly the same way everyone else's goes. <laughs> teaching people, I, I do in the experience of uh, uh, teaching people, trying to explain things to people, that is exhausting. So, especially when you keep getting the same effing question over and over again, I mean, to explain a million times that no, guard is better than nerves of steel, even on catchers for the 2000th <laughs> time. We don't need to. No, sneaky git is not a good skill. So death rollers aren't good. Yes, I know it's fun. That's not what you said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, my biggest bugbear is when people ask for advice and then people say everything's fun and stuff. And it's like, uh, it's like, well, dude, if you just want to have fun, pick whatever the fuck you want. Like, I can't give you advice on what is subjectively fun for you, can I? Like, that's idiotic. If you think it's going to be fun to make a fucking, you know, Skaven team based on cheese puns that takes all fend, do it. <laughs> Don't say to me, it, what's better, guard or fucking dodge? You know, like, it's, fuck God, I really hate that, actually. <laughs> it's one of the things that I hate the most. Of course, you like, that you've got to give the, you, you should only ask if you want the optimal stuff, don't you? Or make it clear that, like, you know, this is this, what about this, is this better in this situation? Then that's fair enough. But, like, if people don't say that, then obviously, the most objectively optimal thing is what people should be endeavouring to uh, offer up as advice, isn't it? So, I think. So the Necro just scored with more than one turn remaining? Yeah. So I guess okay. he thought he'd done enough damage that... Because, you know, Skaven stalling is not as easy... Like, you know, him scoring the one turn... He's going to stay down for the rest of the half, isn't he? He's going yeah. to stay down for the rest of the half there, so you, you could have just fouled him three more times and then scored, mm -hmm. and maybe you remove three players. And if you remove three players, then there's four players, and it's still actually going to be probably pretty easy to score the one turn. Well, and, there uh, were um, there were like like four players came back from KO. Oh, so, so that you couldn't have even removed that many. Mm -hmm. Could have only re removed two more because he wasn't going to get to the natty. So yeah, I guess because he can't remove that many, and and yeah, there could have been two more come back as well. 
So it's but yeah, you know, may, maybe like scoring early and like hope that the Skaven, if the Skaven score, you score back, and hope that you can turn them over. Who knows? <laughs> Why is more fun? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's better? Mm. What? Yeah. What color looks better, green or blue? Well, blue is a is more blue. Thank, thank you, thank you. Very helpful. Answering the question. <laughs> yeah. Looks like the rats are gonna be. Maybe, maybe they could try and do a stall here. After they get up the field. Oh, thanks very much. Go for blind and blue ball three. Yeah. I'm about to go into a. I'm about to go into. What's it called? <laughs> oh, rat rat <laughs> passing nerf would have totally saved this team. Oh yeah. man, if only rats couldn't pass, they would not be able to relay the ball. It's really important that gutter nerf can't pass, guys. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's, we made the game less dynamic. Well, you see, this is the thing. This is what really brings the... Uh, this is why the Skaven Throw is really good, because if you've got a Skaven Throw, you can move it 26 squares in one turn, because, you know, it's totally not good enough to be able to move it fucking 20... <laughs> well, <laughs> what, 18 on a 2 plus isn't enough. You have to be able to move it 26 on a 2-2. Two, two, two. Yeah. Like fuck me, move it. Being it, you can move it. You can move it. Like and plus with like GFIs. So for the same rolls, you get two GFIs anyway, right? So yeah. it's still twenty. It's still twenty on the same amount of rolls as it is to move it twenty-seven. And twenty is fucking far enough to move it in one turn anyway. Nine times out of ten, like not even nine times out of ten. Ninety-nine. Well, not even that. Probably, you know, ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine times out of a hundred thousand. Moving it 20 in one turn is good enough. I would say. Like, I can't remember ever moving it 27 turns. Like, 27 squares. I literally can't remember ever moving the ball 27 squares. No, I can't remember. Very rarely you need to move the ball more than six, whatever the distance between the end zone to the midfield plus five is. That's usually about as far as you really need to move the ball. Yeah. Ooh. Pretty big dodge fail. Yeah. Pretty huge Kaz. Yeah. And that's it's fine, but it's not a big regen because no. <laughs> there's a stall, pretty easy stall here, and maybe maybe I don't know if that was right or wrong. Like obviously, if you can just stop the stall, then you've got a two turn. But then but then he's still got the one turn, and so why did you do it? So I guess you're just doing this to try and turn him over anyway. So I guess yeah, if you're gonna do that, you go for the. You go for he, what he went for. He can't get surf though, right? I feel like he's leaving the surf on it because he doesn't have sidestep on this carrier. Yeah. Yeah, he kind of needs to make this dodge and try and stop the the easy dodge into the cage. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty important dodge there. Which he doesn't really stop because he's still got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he's still. I guess yeah. it stops the assist there. Yeah. It stops him cancelling the assist. But even then, one, two, the three, one day. four, five, six, seven. You could GFI with him and, and, and stop that assist. Uh, You could cancel both assists, right? You could just dodge in from the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, this is the hard one to stop. Like, I mean, do you know the... mean? Oh, you know what? It's harder to stop now that the flesh golem is in the wrong square. Yes, yes, yeah, that that was fucked it. But yeah, he could have he could have come around with a wolf and and yeah, okay, gone we're there. Okay, we're just pointlessly basing things. I guess we're going with the white instead. Yeah, yeah. we're going with the white, doing more dodges. Yeah, right. Doing a one own oh, the problem. Problem with that is just doing the one. Isn't that stun it? is actually incredible. Because <laughs> you can just stay there. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> you he will stall. Yeah, I think uh, you uh, will stall. Yeah, because now now it's too yeah. long, right? Yeah, that's, that is actually, that's such an funny stun. <laughs> it actually yeah. gets in the way of everything. Yeah. Well, that is almost GG, unless we get another riot. And maybe the Necro won't squander a riot this time? Maybe. Who can that's say? Gonna, it's going to feel, it's going to feel pretty bad. <laughs> to come out of this game not getting to overtime at least. Like, alright, this game has scored a one it has scored a one turner on you. Alright. Whatever. That you had a two turner and your whole team was able to get up the field and you couldn't score was gonna feel pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely I would definitely feel bad if I was if I had thrown 
in the manner that has a win through that two turn. Like, you know, whatever you say, like, about getting dice or whatever, I, I think it's fair to say that he threw that. No oh, blitz. Uh, you know, a lesser player just, you know, might have struggled and stuff, but, like, that's a definite throw for Oswin, right? As much as I don't like what he's done in the past, um, I would never lie and say Oswin or Sergal are terrible at Blood Bowl, but for no. them, I think, you know, for, he should have he should have done better than what he did there. So... The other advantage, of course, of using Frenzy to try and get a player into a hole is that um, there's a chance that if the Blitz goes badly, like that one, it's a, you can maybe recover from it. You still have the Blitz afterwards to try and get pushed. So it looks like he's still going to get a shot here to get in range. Yep. But, you know, like this is the thing. You Because you've got those extra chances, like I think you've got mm -hmm. to try for the... Uh... You've got to try for the thing and just get your blitz. Through. Have the blitz, yeah. Yeah, if he's got the blitz through here. He's, he's laughing. I, I, yeah, and I did like that. Uh, Diomed's one change on the blitz, and it's over. Well, it's it just works. to get his get his one turner behind the line, yeah. so it couldn't be hit. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. And that is it. That is all she wrote. Glorious. Oh, we're getting. Looks like we're getting one more hit. Yeah, why not? If there's no GFI, you might as well. Yep. What is that one turn? Yeah, I mean, he took, he took, the, he took the guard, right? He took the guard first, which is... It's fair enough, like, guard... But the, I guess the thing is, you've got to go to two heads. Guard turners are so fucking good. Yeah. Guard turners are thing. so good. Yeah, but two heads is really good. Like, two heads works with everything else as well, so, like... Mm -hmm. Two heads is the great keep your options open skill. Yeah. But guard is really good. Right. Well, they go. As a win, lost. Congratulations, Diomed. Glorious win. Um, and a win for Dimmy the Rat Ogre as well. And mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much, Squirrel Dude. Glorious having you in. Glorious to be here and see Dimmy the Rat Ogre, who played like eight turns. Yeah, wonderful. Wonder it's all down to Dimmy. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>